Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. I am still the Noonie, fantasy writer in Shy Magical Library in Human Skin. <laughs> How is everyone today? Doing quite well, I hope. Well, my small one, sadly, isn't doing quite well today. She's she's a little ill, sadly. So I am streaming with the door ajar. So if anything goes awry, I am hopefully more likely to hear. And um, if I get called away midstream, I'll apologise in advance. But you know, I might have to duck away to look after her at some point. We'll see how we go anyway. <laughs> You did a fantastic job, as always. And up with the game music. There we go. There we go. Okay, so for various and a half reasons, I'm going to try to keep this more contained than last Saturday's stream, which turned out to be my longest stream ever at slightly over four hours. <laughs> yes, I didn't think I was even capable of, of streaming streaming that long. Oh dear. But no, that won't be happening that won't be happening tonight. Tonight if I pass if I pass the two hour mark, please please start chastising me and tell me to go to sleep. <laughs> yes, okay. So also keeping keeping that that sh slightly shorter intended streaming time in mind it is because i am sadly still not particularly well so yes i need more sleep <laughs> that's the problem with streaming reasonably late at night but you know still no other real options with regards to that who knows? Who knows in the future? Let's get back into our lovely town of New Isengard. Load, load, load. And today is the day. It will happen. The trading post is going to happen. I think we already we already laid the foundations all the way down here. So hopefully our builders will start to take notice sooner rather than later. I imagine I upped the priority, but let's just up that priority just a little more. If that, you know, doing it again actually does anything. I don't know. It might. It might. Oh dear. Okay. Um, do we have anything else? Requiring building at this point, we're in early autumn. Uh, we just finished building houses. We built a barn because we kept running out of storage space. Oh, how are we doing peaches wise? If they started the harvest yet? Not yet. As soon as they start the harvest, we can get. Oh, alcohol. That's what'll happen. We'll start with getting our alcohol in. Oh, dearie me. Sorry, it's just getting getting back into the swing of the town after being away for a week, trying to remember what everyone was up to. Who are you? Charon. Hello, Charon. And over here... In the cemetery, it's still poor old Ty Lord, all alone here. I do wish they put the name on the grave. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Hmm. So where are our builders? Angelicity, of course. Hello. Kate Lynette, Herodin, and Cleonadad. 
Oh, it's raining. That's nice. So I'm guessing they're all gathering resources to come down here. It is just such a long way, though. Maybe I should lay a path. Look at this congregation of deer. Goodness me. Many, many deer. A lot of stags, too. Wouldn't there be more headbutting going on here? Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Well, I want to lay the path, but... There's even more deer here. Miss me. We build a hunting lodge down here, too. But they'll probably all move away as soon as all the trees are gone. Well, let me build through the trees. Uh, that'll do, I guess. Ah, uh, knowing the builders, they'll all they'll build the path first. But at least it'll get done. At least it'll get done. Yes, if anyone has any trouble hearing me as well, let me know. I don't think it should be an issue, but I am trying. I'm making a conscious effort to, to speak slightly soft, softer, given my door is open and the small one is in the bedroom next to this room. So, conscious effort to be a bit quieter. We'll see how long that lasts anyway. Oh, dearie me. Oh, I'd forgotten they'd at least cleared one tree. So they have made a start, however small. Rowans, farmer, what are you doing down here if you're a farmer? You have nothing to do down here. What's going on here? I'm sure I've forgotten what that means. Oh, we reached the food limit. Is that the thing? Okay, we've reached. We've reached the food limit. Let's increase that. Food limit increased. Food limit increased. There we go. I'd rather you know, not stop making food, just in case. Who knows when, you know, an orchard plague could strike, or a barn could burn down. Probably best to keep making food and alcohol. Um, maybe bring one of the gatherers up and have someone tail those hides into quotes. Oh dear. Well, here are the builders. They're at least coming down this way. Hopefully to do something useful down here. Oh, I know it's inconvenient with it being so far away from the main town, but can't be helped. Can't be helped if the main the main river is all the way down here. It's a problem, but it's one we can work with. Hmm. Well, once the paths, once the paths are built anyway, it won't take long to get to get down here, and we'll we'll have a good few traders to load it all up with tools. We have many tools. Oh, wonder if I should get. Uh, during the winter, have the blacksmith going at it, making more and more tools. I'm the only one here. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. Lovely to see you. Yes, yes, that's all good. That's all good. I have you to talk to, then. Hello. <laughs> Hope you are well. I want the trading post built today. I meant to build it last time. 
but I wanted to finish the chapel first. And they took a very, very, very long time to build the chapel. Oh, it's 3.10 a.m. here. I couldn't sleep. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. That's not good. Well, I have been told I can be reasonably soothing at times, so is it possible to maybe pop this on and turn it down quietly and just listen and try to drift off? Do you reckon that could work? Maybe. Maybe. I will take absolutely no offense whatsoever if you fall asleep during the stream. I would I think I would almost be honored that I could help. <laughs> oh, this is a nice quiet game anyway. Assuming there's no tornadoes, of course. Or plagues. That would be unpleasant. We don't have a hospital yet. Oh, the frost is here. Oh no. Did we finish the harvest? Did we finish the harvest? Not quite. Oh no. Oh, my cabbages. <laughs> my cabbages. <laughs> They're all disappearing in the frost. Oh, no. Oh, I gotta get up for work in an hour anyway, so it isn't all bad. Oh, dear. Well, it's not great going to work if you haven't had any sleep. Well, hopefully you could at least get a bit of rest. Yeah, I, I have a lot of difficulty falling asleep most nights and, you know... I know that I have trouble falling asleep, so it's off-putting. I don't want to go to bed if I know I'm just going to lie there for four hours unable to sleep. You know, I prefer to try to do something vaguely useful or, you know, entertaining at least. But, you know, I keep getting told the converse that at least if you're lying down, you're resting. So it's still something, I guess. Come on, little farmers, you can do something else now. What can we do, little farmers? Oh well, we'll have to take the tailor off, nothing left to tail. Um, blacksmith, go for it. <laughs> and... Hmm. Since we do have so much food, I don't think I'll... I'll fill up the gatherer fishermen positions right now. Um... Hmm. Maybe just have them all on laboring. Yes, particularly if we're going to have our, our blacksmith going nuts, making more tools to trade when we eventually get our trading post. We need the iron, and plus we're going to have to clear. Probably going to clear all the way down here, and hopefully we'll have some pastures and farms and other pleasant additions to the town. Leading down to the trading post. Possibly an intelligent thing to do would be to build a barn down this way as well. I mean, I know oh, a lot of the stuff going to the trading post will not be placed in that barn, but still, it's still something, right? That will at least shorten the transportation time somewhat for some things. If I really can't go to sleep, sometimes I'll go for a night drive, forcing myself to go to sleep, and when I can't, it's really grating. Oh dear, night driving. Yeah, I've, I've heard um, that can sometimes be good if, if children have, have trouble sleeping too, that the, um, the momentum or the motion of the driving can be very soothing. Imagine it, it works the same for the driver. Or it could in any case. To tell you the truth, I don't have my license, I just have my learners. I've had my learners for a very, very long time. I think I had my last lesson about 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just... Me driving just seems to be one of the worst ideas in the world <laughs> whenever I think about it. I mean, you know, it's not inevitable that I have to get my actual license, but it would be useful. I just... I really don't want to do it. <sighs> oh dear. But yes, it would be a useful thing. And, you know, maybe assist in my perpetual feelings of uselessness these days. <laughs> but then, you know, with a car comes car payments and petrol and registration and goodness knows what else. 
Gee, 12 years ago I was 10. <laughs> yes, I, I figured out fairly early on that I'm just a little bit older than most of my beautiful viewers. <laughs> just a teensy bit. Yeah. Just a bit. <laughs> Yes, I think I, I have mentioned a couple of times me being a little older than perhaps the average VTuber did um, make me waver a little bit, but I'm glad I'm doing it. It, it, was, it was very much something I wanted to try, particularly something I wanted to try to combine with my writing just to, you know, try to be a bit different, I guess, because, you know, it's so difficult to... Try oh no, what's wrong? Is ever firewood is low? Oh no, oh no. Sound the siren. It's winter, we need firewood. Winter, firewood, woodcutter. Go nuts. Woodcutter. I know I just assigned you, but where the heck are you? Saloma, hello why are you gathering food? People are cold. Get the wood, Saloma. Get the wood and chop it up, please. <sighs> yes, it's very difficult to um Oh, try to attract much attention as a a writer because you know the field is very saturated not not meaning that is a bad thing it's wonderful that so many more people have the opportunity to have their stories found but it's difficult and you know somehow I thought VTubing could help but really, it's just trying to break into one oversaturated field by starting in another oversaturated field. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you said you have children, right? That is right. At present, I have one small one. I have one small one who is, she is four years old. Yes, and not feeling very well at the moment, sadly. Oh dear, is that Saloma with the wood? It's Saloma with the wood! Go, Saloma! Look at her go! Saloma alone shall save her town from freezing this winter. <laughs> well, you know, until the job randomly changes when she gets bored. <laughs> I'm not sure whether there's some sort of timer or something on swapping the jobs you just walk straight through a fence, Saloma. Saloma, did you, did you notice? You did walk just, oh, and again, and again, straight through the fence. <sighs> we all saw you, Saloma. And what's happening now? Oh, who's here? Rowans is getting some firewood. Good on you, Rowans. Distribute that firework, firework? Firewood, fairly. Sorry, farmers, I forgot about you. Now we have lots of lovely labourers. Go and mine. Maybe not stone, we have plenty of stone. Get some iron, get the iron out, that'd be great. Well, I'd like to have kids someday. Two girls, one boy, they'll probably spoil them. Because I have a hard time saying no to kids. It can get a little difficult sometimes. <laughs> Particularly because some, some kids just have a way of making their requests sound so reasonable. <laughs> Even if they're, you know, not... <laughs> <laughs> it's like if it was me I'd do it I would give myself this so why shouldn't I give it to them <laughs> but you know I think you just gotta get I mean even if sometimes what they want is reasonably reasonable it's you know you can't have a kid going through early life never have being told no because that's just not gonna work <laughs> sometimes it's just it's just no. <laughs> to tell you the truth, when I was when I was much younger, I always wanted a ridiculous number of children. I wanted, you know, upwards of eight, because, you know, I guess I guess I always just saw myself being a parent, and I was also. <laughs> what is this baby's first hyperfixation? The Babysitters Club books. <laughs> <laughs> I read nothing else for maybe four or five years and I remember even the only times I sort of stooped to any subterfuge at school 
was claiming I had read these other books for school things, but just, you know, skimming or looking at the blurb and, and stuff and then just reading the Babysitter's Club books because that's what I wanted to read at that time. <laughs> oh, dear. I have since moved on from that hyper hyperfixation a, a very long time ago, <laughs> moved on from that. But I think one of, the, one of the families in that had eight kids and that's probably what got me stuck on the idea of a really big family. But honestly, every time I did think about having that many children, I never really thought about having a partner. It just wasn't anything that came to mind. And I'm guessing in the back of my mind, I just sort of assumed that I would have a partner. And I always just assumed, assumed straight because at that point I didn't know there was anything else. Um, yeah, it wasn't until I was 25 that I figured out I was asexual, and not long after that I figured out I was aromantic as well, which does make it a little more difficult to have children. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm frugal. I did save up all through my early working life, and there's no way I would have been able to afford to have kids if I hadn't done that. IVF is expensive. As in, really expensive. <laughs> but it's worth it. For me at least, it is worth it. And I am exceptionally lucky that it worked, eventually. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that wood cutting is going quite well, isn't it? I'm just going to go through and check none of the houses are bereft of wood. Because that would be bad. Oh, just nine. You guys should grab some more. Fifty. You guys were greedy. Who, who are you? Ashimo, teen, you were greedy. You took way more firewood than you needed. Forty-five. Hmm. Not sure about that either. Twenty-seven. That's probably reasonable. Thirty-nine these guys down here. Six guys, get the wood. Uh, 38, you're fine. 25, you're fine. Just a few households need to get hold of the wood. So you aren't married. The idea of marriage to me is a little intimidating to me because the people attending. Yes, no, no, this library is not married. This library is incapable of feeling any kind of attraction towards other human beings in the romantic or passionate manner <laughs> so that would be a little difficult unless it was a marriage of convenience but I'm not good with people either <laughs> so <laughs> I have a feeling a marriage of convenience would be just as hard to try to organize <laughs> no I don't do people <laughs> in that sense <laughs> oh dear there is a strong family support network though so the small one is not short of adoring relatives. But yes, yes, I think. <clears throat> yeah, I can, I can see how the idea of a marriage ceremony being distressing. But if you ever did want to get married, you can always elope. Eloping, much cheaper and much less intimidating. Ooh, I did try to get back into reading last year. I ordered a book from Amazon called Three Days of Happiness, but it never came. Oh dear, I should order it again. Yeah, it's not always the, the most reliable, despite what they'd have you think, I'm sure. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm still waiting for a Christmas present I ordered for the small one three years ago <laughs> that I ordered from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that one's just not going to show up. <laughs> Oh dear, yes, reading, it's something I desperately want to do more of, and what I do, you know, sadly, sadly not very much reading considering I'm a library, I have so many books that I want to read, but, you know, things get in the way even if it's just my own head, and it's frustrating. So, you know, I wind up just sitting and watching. How are you doing? Well, you've cleared one more tree. What are you guys doing? 
Builders. Builders. <sighs> Guys. Guys, please. Please. Do your jobs. Build the trading post. You're all going to have to go back into farming work after winter. Oh dear. Yes, not as much reading as I'd like to do. Because... I don't know. I think there's a few... Oh, what's the term? Intimidation issues about it. Just given I'm a writer myself who has not been successful to date. <laughs> Just feeling intimidated or, you know, uh, things along those lines when reading. Or else, um, you know, reading traditionally published books that turns out they're not actually that good because, you know, they haven't been edited well. Or they're just written poorly but with full of tropes that people like at the moment. Then I get frustrated reading those ones. <laughs> and I suppose reading just takes more effort than things like watching YouTube or movies. And I'm, at the end of the day, I'm so bereft of effort. <laughs> oh dear. And I'm like, you know, sitting there watching a video. I'm like, I don't want to watch a video. I want to read, but I cannot read. Help. <laughs> oh, this story. It's about a guy who goes into a fortune teller and the teller basically gives monetary value to people's lives he finds out it's extremely low compared to others that he only has three days to live oh dear he cashes out that money since he thought his life was worthless and the teller spends the rest of his days with him until he passes away he does everything he wanted to in that time that sounds kind of sad but also sweet i do really love the um the kinds of stories that can tap into multiple emotions at once i mean i think i was um thinking about that the other day with a particular piece of music if anyone's seen the film um mr holland's opus the um the orchestral piece sort of at the um at the end at the end of the movie it's just you know every time i hear it whether i've watched the movie or not i just break down ugly crying because <laughs> it's so happy and it's so sad and it's you know, full of grief and loss, but still, you know, hope and there's, there's a future, future still coming and, you know, this might be over, but we are not done yet sort of thing. It's just evokes so many wonderful things. And, you know, I don't know whether it has the power to do that to someone who hasn't seen the film because I've only, I've only heard it. I didn't hear it before seeing the film, but, you know, I'd like to think maybe it could. There's another piece that sort of does that to me. Um, the final movement of Stravinsky's The Firebird. That is just, you know, approaching pinnacle human creative ingenuity in my very, very humble opinion. <laughs> it's good. If you haven't heard the final movement of Stravinsky's Firebird, I implore you, please listen to it. <laughs> you don't need to listen to all of it all of it first. It can, it can be nice. It's, it's, it's lovely and terrifying and lovely and terrifying. But the, um, the last movement. Angelicity. How is it I always click on you? Oh, is the snow melting already? And the trading post was definitely not built during the winter. Guys, get a move on. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. Random thought. Um, yes, I did make a community note about... Um, oh, it's snowing again. A community note about the previous stream, just reminding everyone how the writing is going to work using all the ideas from our brainstorming stream, and that, that's all up there. But it took me ages. I think I wound up deleting the note three or four times because I just I kept trying to upload PDF images of all of our notes just so no one has to keep, you know, trolling back through the VOD to try to find all the notes. And I just couldn't get them to appear correctly. They just always cut stuff out. And um, yes, it wasn't until, you know, maybe the fourth time that I remembered Tumblr is a thing. So hopefully sometime tomorrow I will 
pop all of our notes up just as they are. I won't try to edit them or anything, so they'll be a bit of a mess. I'll pop them up on a Tumblr post, and um, I'll link it in another another community post, and I'll try to remember to pop it in the um, the description of the VOD as well. Just easy access to the notes. <laughs> And I feel incredibly silly that I didn't think to do that in the first place. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, I used to play in a band as a kid whenever anyone is harmoniously synced and it's perfect. It's a special feeling. Time feels like it slows down. That's a wonderful sentiment. I think you're absolutely right. It's just... Yeah. I, um, I've got more experience in choirs than in, in bands or orchestras, but it's the same sort of feeling, I think. But um, I did actually play cello for a couple of years when I was very, very young and played in the string ensemble at my school. Ooh, farming. It is it is farming time. It is spring. Oh, corn. Work. Why am I raising the builders? Um, let's bring down a gatherer the farmer I think I want to keep the blacksmith going um, well at least we're not going to run out of filters <laughs> Whoop, blacksmith okay let's increase increase that number oh dear I also played piano for a very, very, very long time. I think I I started lessons when I was four and I stopped lessons when I finished high school, so long time. Sadly, um, I pretty much stopped playing altogether during university because I just felt like I didn't have the time. And although I don't think I've lost it completely, I can't just sit down and play anymore. And it's still hard to find the time to sort of sit down and try to get back what I've lost, which I would love to do. Ooh, yeah, I used to play in a band as a kid. Oh, sorry, you or I already read that one out. <laughs> My eyes flickered, and I thought it, it had moved down. <laughs> so sorry. Lou, having a moment already. We've only been streaming for half an hour. How can I already be having moments? Oh, dear. Yes, I wasn't bad at piano either. I um, not that I entered any huge competitions, just local ones. But by the time I was eight or so, I started coming away with a few medals pretty much every time. So I wasn't bad. I did practice a lot. <laughs> oh dear. And I do have a um, a full sized keyboard piano, so. You know, when I have moments, I should try harder to sit down and, you know, oh, Elsie's become an adult and is working as a laborer. Congratulations, Elsie, for reaching this life milestone. We are all very proud of you. And we hand you this pickaxe. <laughs> and, you know, general feelings of, of solidarity that you've now entered the workforce and it's all downhill from here. <laughs> Goodness me, that was depressing. It's not, I promise you. <laughs> it's not all downhill once you enter the workforce. <laughs> Sometimes it can be uphill. More often than not, it sort of plateaus, and it can be reasonably comfortable so long as you try to look on the bright side of things. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, sometimes it just goes downhill. <laughs> I'm not trying to be depressing, I promise. Ah, oh dear. Who's chopping wood now? It's Ally. Hello, Ally. Maybe I should check and see if anyone's approaching adultish age and wants their own digs. Maybe we can build a few more houses down here. Ooh, very impressive. All I did during my childhood was play band for a couple of years, play soccer and video games. Well, most of the video games I played, um, the father library had set up, um, probably at the time it was, you know, not ridiculously old, but um, most of the games I played when I was a kid was on a PC Geos. <laughs> and they were great. It was mostly demo games because they were free. <laughs> but they were fun. 
I'd love to try to track some of them down and, and play them on stream, like um like Jill of the Jungle and Jazz Jackrabbit and Ecosaurus. I just don't know how I'd, you know how they'd give permissions, and I'd still feel anxious about about streaming a game that I didn't explicitly know this is good to stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Also, um, I, I used to play some games on Atari. They, they, they were ancient by the time I was playing them. I'm not ridiculously, ridiculously, you know, old. <laughs> and also, um, I used to play some Commodore 64 games. Also, it was very old by the time I was playing it. <laughs> so, yes. Yes, that's not... No, the, the types of games I played when I was young should not hint at my age. They, they, they were old when I was playing them, but they were fun. Tor has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Well done, Tor. Oh, well, if Tor and Elsie have both become adults, possibly they are a match made in heaven. Only PC games played were Flash games. Even then, when my family got their first computer in 2009, I played the preloaded one since we didn't have internet yet. Fair. Very fair. Um, when did we get... Um, as far as consoles go, we were always a, um, a PlayStation family. And, um, yes, I'm sure we got our first PlayStation not too long after they were first released. Our first game was Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Never played Crash 1. <laughs> I think I played it a little bit once at a, a random New Year's party. Look at that corn sprouting. Oh dear. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I have no idea how to um, hook up console games for streaming. That's something I'd have to do a lot of research on if I was ever going to give that a go. I am. Um, I have a Switch. I got it last year, but I, I've only played it a tiny bit. Um, and I believe I inherited the PlayStation 4 when one of my siblings got a PlayStation 5. <laughs> I'm just not sure what's on it, and I think I'm missing a HDMI cable, which is, you know, easy enough to get hold of, but I am never on top of things. And I've probably even got one hiding in a box somewhere. Well, I was always Xbox, but I didn't have a, but I did have a PS1 in early childhood. Now I'm going back to old games because the new ones aren't really doing it for me. I'm seeing that. I mean, you know, I haven't played a huge amount of console games and, or even PC games, but I, I tend to lean towards PC games now when I do play. But um, yes, it does seem that most of the games done by um big companies, they they seem to seem to let down a lot from what I've seen, which is, you know, pretty sad. You'd think they'd be doing more research and, you know, paying people better so they are healthy enough and happy enough. But, you know, I don't think it's going to come down to the to the developers and the, and the programmers and the artists. It's, it comes down to the company, doesn't it? I mean, they're the ones at the end of the day who are saying, telling them what they what to do and what they want, but and they're the ones getting it wrong. So they got to pick up their act if they want to stay relevant. It seems there's a few. I mean, indie games tend to be an awful lot more innovative, don't they? But are there? Well, this shows how much I stay on top of things. But are there very many indie games for consoles, or is it mostly PCs? Hmm. But also haven't been able to play as much because you know adulthood stuff gets in the way. Oh yes, I am aware. <laughs> I feel this intimately. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly you've made me feel about twice as tired as I was a moment ago. <laughs> oh dear. How's that trading post going? Is it going? Have you cleared all the space yet? Have you started building? Are you doing anything useful? Guys! Where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> 
Seriously, Angelicity, why are you idling? And you just walked through a stone wall. Hmm. Maybe that's why everyone was banished from their original, original town. Because they all walked through walls and it terrified people. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Ooh, probably put a row of houses back here. Uh, but if I put down another house, they'll just build that first and ignore the trading post. But oh well. Two more builders. It's going to take a long time to build this trading post. <laughs> and Angelicity again. Every random person I click on turns out to be Angelicity. Unless they're all just... Okay, Carmaine. Okay, I thought for a moment everyone would suddenly become Angelicity. There was some kind of Angelicity glitch. I am Angelicity. You are Angelicity. We are Angelicity. I do like a lot of the, the names that pop up. They're cute. I am going to follow you, Angelicity. And let's see if you actually do anything on this job. Oh, it's raining. That's nice. Why are you chopping a tree? I know we don't have enough materials for the trading post yet, but you could at least finish clearing it first. Come on, Angelicity. Can you please just finish clearing these ones first? I upped the priority. I upped it so hard. Oh, well. really want it built but if it's not built within the next hour and 15 minutes I'm still probably gonna have to stop <laughs> oh goodness me Angelicity I'm not mad just disappointed oh no Tor is miserable why is Tor miserable oh he's miserable because he's still living at home maybe and he wants to move out because his health is fine, the general happiness is very high, no one has died recently. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's why. Just let me see if I can find Elise. I think she'd be in a similar situation then. Let's just... Elise! 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 Where are you? El not Elise, Elsie. Oh no, she's okay. Why is Tor miserable? Who else is miserable? Can we just cycle through everyone? I don't know. Ali's fine. Riel's fine. Kalea's fine. Elsie's fine. I don't understand. Sloma's fine. Jean is fine. Why is Tor miserable? Oh, Adric. Adric's fine. Adric's fine. Why is Tor miserable? Oh dear. I have no idea. Well, apart from potentially just wanting to move out. I paid so much in bills recently, now I have to eat bread and water until the next paycheck. Oh goodness me, I'm so sorry. That's not fun. It's just, oh. The bills just always seem to come at the same time and at the worst possible moment, don't they? It's, oh, I know it's not a conspiracy because, you know, so many of them are unrelated, but it's just, you can't help but feel like something is working against you when these sort of things happen. I mean, you can only keep... It's hard to just accept that things are coincidences and try to grin and bear it. It's just, you know, if that's what they are, that's what they are. Well, 
I hope you'll be okay until then. Hope you'll be okay. Oh dear. And Tor is still miserable. Well, once we build this house, if he moves into it, we'll see if he perks up a bit. Friend, Cleonadad, why are you carrying a crate of fish down here? Where there is no place to store, said crate of fish. And, um, why are you, Herodon, carrying a crate of fish coming from this direction where there was no way you could have gotten that crate of fish? Are people just randomly carrying crates of fish around the town? Well, that wouldn't put it past them, but, yeah. Oh, Jan Holloway, hello. Drop the sub to your channel and like on your video to help with the algorithm. That's so sweet of you, Jay. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are very, very welcome here. You are. We are just trying to take it easy. Take it easy with Banish today. Yes, I am primarily a writing VTuber, but I need to give my head a rest sometimes. <laughs> Mickey, you really are sympathetic. That's an endearing trait to have. It's lovely of you to say thank you. It's... I just... Maybe my head just works in a slightly, slightly weird way, but I just don't understand how some people can't, you know, can't be sympathetic. I mean, even if you can't see things exactly from someone else's view, you can still, you know... Just because you can't imagine yourself in that situation doesn't mean that situation doesn't suck. <laughs> and you can still appreciate that. It's... I don't know. I know everyone works differently. But maybe it's just me getting older too. I'm getting more and more frustrated. I generally don't express my frustration to people because I have confrontation issues. But my frustration levels do grow. Ooh, I also stream, but I love helping streamers more and supporting other channels before my own. Again, very sweet of you. Very sweet, and thank you so much for dropping by. And I hope you enjoy your time here, however short or however sweet. What sort of things do you like to stream? I mean, like I said, I mostly, well not mostly, I try to do at least one writing-related stream a week when I can. But... You know, more and more games these days just try to give my brain a chance to rest. And also, I just need to rest more in general. <laughs> so, the pleasant games help. Yeah, hello. Hello, Nickel Heiko. Lovely to see you. Hello, hello. I hope you are well. Yes, another, another cruisy banished stream today. Ooh, there are so many times when I want to say something nice to someone. Then I think it'd be weird to say and I hold back. It's difficult. I do feel that. It's, you know, I'd like to think that most people would just, you know, enjoy the compliment. But again, it's sometimes so hard, hard to read people. And you never, never know if someone could take something the wrong way. And I don't know. It, it could be the internet, you know doing things to people but it just feels that people are an awful lot more defensive these days and can always always find a way to take things the wrong way but you know I say that and you know a lot of people may be like that but there's an awful lot of people who aren't as well and it's just so hard to tell who is who <laughs> oh, mostly Call of Duty multiplayers another first person shooter games and a lot of different games games are fun both to play and to watch Tell the truth, most of the time, not so much anymore. Well, when I watch streamers, yes, but when I was a teenager even, I didn't play an enormous amount of games. I just enjoyed watching my siblings play. <laughs> That's just something I enjoyed doing. I guess it was a, a precursor to watching streamers, really. Yeah, because we would chat too. It's just pleasant. Oh dear, first person shooters. Can't think of the last first person shooter I played. Honestly, I can't. I think I attempted Halo one time, but I, yes, I just wound up cowering. 
Yeah, like that one time I tried to play Minecraft and just dug a hole and hid in it. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll work up to to more varied, more varied games. But for the moment, I'm I'm happy with these cozier, more relaxing ones. Because honestly, I'm not sure <laughs> I'd be able to last with much else at this point. I I will try more eventually. I'll play. I'm playing a different game on Saturday. One that I have never played before. Again, definitely not a first-person shooter, but I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give Spirit Fair a go. I haven't played it before. I haven't I haven't opened it either to see um, just try to get a bit of a handle on the controls first, which I possibly should do, given <laughs> yeah, spatial awareness and me is an interesting combination. <laughs> Blues adventures and spatial awareness. Yeah, that could be funny. <laughs> oh, we have run out of peaches with which to brew. Sorry, brewer. Whoop. Mini builders who moved in here. Tor and Carmaine. I thought it'd be with Elsie. Is Tor happier now? Tor is reasonably happier now. Not completely, but reasonably. So we did just want to get out of home. <laughs> How's our Carmain? Carmain's all good. Oh dear. I wonder what'll cheer him up more. I've never seen anyone in this game randomly that miserable with, you know, no recent deaths and no being being hungry or cold or sick. Look at all these look at all these textiles. Let us let us tailor those into some lovely coats. Oh dearie me. How are our stores? Barn. 100% full. Barn. 73% full. We have an awful lot of stone, don't we? <laughs> Barn. 76% full. Okay. Maybe we should... I just really don't want to take it easy on the food production because I've had a town all but starved before and that was not fun. And I do not want that to happen again. Okay. Woodcutter down. We have enough wood there. Assuming Tor and Carmaine have already gotten some. Oh yeah, they're okay. They are well stocked. Well stocked. We're good. We're good. Ah, <sighs> Sorry, I know it'd be more interesting with more more buildings and more people and in general more, but they're just not building the trading post. Guys, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. Oh, I will stop by again next stream. Going to attempt to get some sleep. Sweet dreams to you, Jay. I hope sleep does not elude you. I hope it does not, and I hope it is very restful and rejuvenating. Thank you again for dropping by. If I click on you and your angelicity, Kate Lynette, thank you. I feel a little better now. I don't know why, but I do. Tor, how are you doing? Still not all the way up there. I wonder if it's possible for people to just be sad for no specific reason in this game as in real life the thought is a little sad but realistic I guess realistic oh dear <laughs> I thought I paused it for a second but no they were just standing exceptionally Three students, four children. Hmm. I kind of need the population to grow a bit fast, and to do that, you know, probably build more houses. Yeah, there's plenty more people who can move out. Is Herodon sad? Nah, he's good. He's still living at home. He is the cleric, though, so maybe it's easier for him to be happy? I don't know. And I know we want the trading post, but... No, we don't need to clear. That tree is fine. 
Victor is going through it. I know. Poor kid. Poor kid. Is that you, Tor? It is. <sighs> At least it's not as bad as it was. But, yeah, I've never seen that before. Never seen it. I'll check him again once I've had a kid, see if that's improved it. I'm not sure if it will, but it could. It could. I mean, I just, I don't know how much personality these little guys actually have, if there's any sort of built in there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I suppose I hadn't thought about whether, um, I suppose he could have been Tylord's son. I, you know, didn't keep track of who belonged to who. <laughs> and maybe he just never recovered. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure they remember who they're who their parents are and it doesn't really it doesn't note in the event log who had the children it's just such and such has been born oh dear hello Herodon you're standing there and it says you are working I know you're a cleric still be cute if everyone just sort of wandered into the chapel at a random time and came out Tor was neglected poor Tor Poor Tor. At least he has settled down now. Hopefully very happily with Carmaine. She's a little bit older than he is, but I'm sure they're in a very, very loving relationship. Very loving relationship. I should probably increase the builders just to see if the house cannot impede the very, very slow work on the trading post. Guys, come on, it's been half a year and you haven't cleared another tree. I'm just gonna increase the priority again for all the good that'll do. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dear. I'm putting houses here. I think I'd wondered whether I was gonna put you know, the town centre or the, the hospital or something. I suppose we could possibly pop the town centre here. I haven't built a marketplace yet either. But so this place isn't really ideal for a marketplace. It's because they put the herbalist there and I don't want to clear the trees. But... Mm, I suppose it's always an option once I have... um more fields and, and such down this way. Could always clear this field and pop the um, the marketplace here. It should fit. Well, this is basically my city. Road construction could last eight months and there'd be no noticeable progress. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, they always seem to go for the roads first. I mean, I guess I kind of understand because it makes it easier to get to other places but I just keep upping the priority on the buildings I want done and they just don't seem to pay any notice whatsoever oh well at least we've got a big enough workforce that we can just keep on going throughout the whole whole year and don't have to take anyone take anyone off their other jobs I live in Vegas so it gets very hectic goodness me Vegas I've never traveled to the US, so I've, I've certainly never been to to Las Vegas. I did um, know someone many years ago who lived there. And they said the main street with um, you know all of the um, the attractions and the bright shiny things was always you know very bright and well maintained and gorgeous, but all the, the suburbs around it was far less so I think that, I think that's what he said. Oh dear, it would be an interesting place to visit, I'm sure, for myself. But yes, it'd probably take an awful lot for me to um, decide to visit the US. It's um, honestly, from my position in Australia, it looks quite terrifying there. <laughs> yes, they were right. Mm -hmm. Oh dearie me. What was that show? 
The show I watched recently, and by recently I mean any time within the last... Well, usually when I say recently, it means any time within the last 15 years or so. <laughs> but this was actually recently, recently, in the last year, I think. Poker Face. Poker Face, that was a good show. That was a good show. The strip is usually filled with visitors and locals stay away from it. Oh dear. I hope most of the visitors aren't overly obnoxious, although, you know, tourists in general, I imagine had a, it's an unfortunate side effect maybe of being a bit obnoxious. I imagine it's a lot easier to be, um, to be sort of selfish and self-centered when, you know, I am on holiday. This is my holiday. This is about me and what I want to do and what I want to see. And so I imagine that does lend to lend to obnoxiousness. <laughs> yeah, I know not all people would be like that, but some people. Oh dear. I did run into a a little of that today, just I was with the mother library in the car waiting to get petrol and there was one free but there was no way to get to it because there was a gentleman standing in the middle of the way washing his windscreen very very slowly very very deliberately he could have taken five seconds to move out of the way so we could go through and get our petrol but he did not move and the one time he did move it was to walk in front of us to get a paper towel and come back to his windscreen and start tiny 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 scrubbing away at some tiny mark and it was just a little infuriating it's I think it was more just with some disbelief just it wouldn't even be an inconvenience to him it would be five seconds to move and let someone through and get their petrol so you just would not move and you know in the end the mother library just had to sort of creep past him and, you know, terrify that he was about to step backwards and run into the car. Oh dear. It just seems unnecessarily self-centered and just... I suppose something in general I try to live by is don't make life harder for other people if you don't need to. <laughs> It's just, there's no need for it. You don't know what everyone else is going through. They could be having a far worse day than you. And even if they're not, why make things harder for people? It's, it just doesn't seem right. Oh dear. I mean, the, the, I can think of a few, I can think of one example of myself in recent times when I have semi-purposely made stuff harder for people but well there's no buts about it it wasn't it wasn't cool but I guess at that point I was so frustrated and so uh, what was it in need of just a tiny bit of snarky satisfaction and it's just to be honest with you it's bra shopping they never ever have anything that fits me and I know it sort of when I go into a shop but I still have to try to find something and I need to ask for help and they can never actually help me and it's so frustrating <laughs> oh dear so I always have to go to the specialty shops that are ridiculously expensive oh dear but you know things could be worse Exactly. There was life would have it. You try to be nice to people and they either throw it back in your face and that niceness never snowballs and the world doesn't become a slightly better place. Oh dear. Yeah. It's... I think a lot of people feel that way and I feel that way a lot too. And I suppose we just got to keep trying to find something good and just trying to keep... trying to keep going because... I suppose we never know exactly what effect we do have on people. And that's another reason to try to be as mindful as possible. It's, you know, I still remember a time when I was, I think, eight or nine years old when I accidentally hurt someone's feelings and I had no idea I was doing it at the time. And then when I realized it, it was like, you know, 
nine-year-old never sweary blues equivalent of oh god what do I do what have I done and I can and you know I couldn't handle that situation like I just sort of could, could not handle it and I don't remember exactly what I did but yeah still think about it <laughs> yeah no still think about that I still think about a random time I was crossing the road on the way to work years ago and just you know randomly said hello to someone as we were crossing and I was like how could I have done that better and you know five six years later still thinking about it <laughs> oh dear <sighs> this is quite a good harvest almost done in early autumn Sorry, I've been rambling for a while there. Oh, we're out of iron. Probably don't need the blacksmith going at this point then. Yes, I cringe a lot at the p mistakes I did in the past. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it can be a lot. It can be a lot. Oh, goodness me. I think I must have seen it somewhere at one point, but I do have a um, a line from my my main character. You know, and he doesn't say it, but it's, it's about him, you know. Sometimes Kaz wished he could go back and punch his child self in the face. <laughs> Not his child self, his, his teenage self. He, he, yeah, he, he did a lot of stuff. A lot of... I mean, it's not just, you know, accidentally hurting people's feelings. He he did a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. He still does a lot of stuff, actually, but... Oh, he moved in here. Herodin and Elsie. Hello. Oh, they had a kid. How's his happiness? His happiness is all the way up now. He did just want to get married and have a kid. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That did it. That did it. Tor is happy now. Tor. Tor. Tor is happy now. Hooray for Tor. Oh, dearie me. But what about you? Carmaine. She's good. Celia. She's good. Yay. Everyone is happy again. Oh, Yuyoshi, hello. Good morning. I had an idea you were streaming today. <laughs> yes, we are here. Just playing a bit more banished. Trying to keep things calm and refreshing. And what's wrong? Oh, we've hit our limit of food again. Um, let's get that brewer going. That doesn't mean you're not going to... You're not going to um, harvest, does it? Am I just going to have to up the food stores again? Food stores, food stores. Yeah. Oh, Rethany has become a student. Well done, Rethany. That's a full. That's a full. And that's full. Oh, goodness me. Yep, storage for goods near their capacity. Come on, build the trading post so we can load it up with our last spare food. Guys, come on, this is ridiculous. Build the trading post. <laughs> we are going to run out of storage space. Um. Oh, dear. Yeah, we may just have to take everyone off this for now. I'll keep the hunters going because I still want to collect more skins but other than that everyone labor labor away so much stone <laughs> so much stone oh I know storage for produced goods is near capacity I was just saying that now we have all these extra laborers that'll take care of all this stuff that the builders have been doing when they should have been building. 
I'm just going to up this priority again. Sorry. I shouldn't be getting so frustrated with these little guys, but I am. <laughs> oh, out of skins. Bye bye, Taylor. Is there anyone else who needs to move out? Danny. Okay, a lot of people need to move out. Okay, we'll build another house. Okay. It's not like we don't have enough food for everyone, it's just... The firewood. Running out of firewood scares me. Because again, I've had a town well, most of a town freeze to death by accident before and do not want that to happen again do not nope how close to capacity no okay okay um <sighs> dear I have to build a barn down here when I I'll need one eventually it's just Frustrating. Let's build it here. Maybe pop a storage space next to it. And up the builders. And let's just watch the barn and this get built light years ahead of the trading post. <laughs> Oh, can you see this message? It seems like the past two messages I sent aren't going through. Yes, I see that one. The last message I see of yours is the yes, I cringe a lot of the mistakes I did in the past. And that one about seeing the messages. I'm sorry if they're not getting through. That's strange. That's strange. Oh, dearie me. Sorry. Well, I think I was holding a slightly weird expression there. Blue was doing something weird. And already they've cleared this one. I know it's easier when stuff's close to town, but there was nowhere else I could build a trading post. Oh dear. There's Santonio, new baby. Hello. Oh dear me. And the cell. Yeah, I think we've got a few older men, but not really any any women at this point who are ready to move out. And I would rather have the kids in school not marry the um thirty nine year old gentleman there. <laughs> that is not great. Not great. How we going, guys? Rowans, you're a farmer. What are you doing down here? Oh, are the peaches peaches done? Out of peaches? Okay. Yep. You can labor now, friend. Labor away. Oh, dear me. I know storage for produced goods is near capacity. I'm attempting to do something about it. Look at me, attempting. Oh, hello, Angelicity. Oh, at least they're bringing stuff, and I'm guessing it's to build the barn. I would really like you to um, clear the rest of the, the trees and random shrubberies from here, so we can... Um, I'd, I'd like the trading post built by the end of this stream. That'd be nice. Ooh, but at least Tor is happy now. At least Tor is happy now. Just sell your goods, lol. <laughs> issue. I can't sell anything yet because they will not build the trading post. <laughs> Cannot sell without the trading post and they won't build it. <laughs> oh dearie me. It's okay. As soon as the trading post is built, I'm going to load it up with all the spare food, with most of the tools, with a bunch of the coats. Ooh, we've got skins. 
Let us tailor them away. Oh, 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 she's doing it. Close at San City. Clearing the trading post. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What took you so long? Goodness me, guys. Adric, hello. How are you doing? Ah, I just need to close up. Can you get the... It wouldn't be too much to carry one more log, would it? Adric. Adric. we go, up we go, up we go. How's this house going? Hello. Elsie and Herodin are working most studiously, most astutely. A word, a complimentary word. Who's cleric right now? Jean, hello. You've been cleric before, I remember. Did you miss just standing and doing nothing all day and calling it working? I would also appreciate such a position where I banished in this manner. I don't think I'd be very useful on the building teams, honestly. Um, possibly I'd be a ride on the farming team, so long as I got very clear instructions. Probably have the most fun as a gatherer. Again, so long as I knew exactly what I was gathering, because I am exactly the sort of person to accidentally gather poison berries. I just like picking berries in general. It's it's nice. It's It suits me, even though I do not eat berries. I, I still like to gather them for those who do. Oh dear, maybe digging for some wild tubers. Wild potatoes. Wild roots. It's all... Very pleasant, very Disney princessy. <laughs> oh, Roderick became an adult and is working as a labourer. Welcome to the workforce, Roderick. And a child named Dominiqua was born. Hello, Dominiqua. I thought that's where you'd be. <sighs> Dear. Down we go. Maybe given I've got so much stone, once the trading post is finally built, I can update all the houses maybe to reinforce them against fire. Mm. Yeah, you can update with stone and such. I don't think I normally got around to doing it because I used to sort of let my, my population explode fairly quickly without properly preparing for it. And I have learned from those mistakes. And I, you know, I build the houses slowly. I try to be, try to be careful. <laughs> but yeah, I also can't say no to refugees when they come and ask to join the town. And yeah, that's, you know, good, good influx of people. But if you're not ready for them, you don't have the food ready. It can, it can get ugly. <laughs> Oh, no. <sighs> First yawn of the evening. The first one that I've noticed. There's probably been more. Look at them raising that barn. Oops. Excessive workers. Did we finish that house? We did. Handel moved in by himself. Hello, Handel. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, someone might move in with him eventually. But at least at least he's got his own place now. Who's in everywhere? Danny's still still at home too. Um, 
Filet is just about on empty. Marcel, are you okay? He's okay. Whoa. Sorry. Why did I open that many windows? Where am I? I'm lost. There we are. Oop, they're almost on the barn. Hooray! Hmm. And the barn is done. Hooray! Now. Guys. Please. Trading post. I will up priority again. Is that even doing anything? Oh dear. Oh, Miri, bringing stuff to the trading post. Okay, Miri, you should go and get another coat. Yours is ragged. Can you, can you go and do that? You're going to get cold in that. You're going to get cold and it's not going to be fun. We've got plenty of coats in storage. We have 99 coats in storage. You should go and get one. You're finding someplace warm. You should go and find some clothes. Your health is going down because you're wearing ragged clothes and you're cold. Go and get some new clothes. Muri. Yuri. Yuri. Get some more clothes. There's plenty there. <sighs> Another yawn, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. I hope I'm not putting anyone to sleep who does not require being put to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, the reserve of firewood is low. Oh no, woodcutter, have at it. Reserve of logs is low. Well, it's a good thing we have so many laborers. Have they cleared all of that? Let's maybe mark. Harvest trees. Down this way. Harvest trees. Harvest trees. So we'll hopefully build along both these sides eventually oh, today it's supposed to rain I love rainy days me too generally we'll always take a rainy day over a sunny one although you know I do enjoy the really heavy rain we've just you know gotta watch out with that it's you know floods no joke and storm wind damage. I, I, I like gentle storms. Little thunder, little lightning, bit of rain. And the smell is just beautiful. Oh, especially in the winter. It's winter right now. It is your winter. It's very much summer for me. <laughs> very much summer. Not as intense as where I grew up, but it's still. There's no mistake in it. <laughs> oh, I had two hours of sleep the past few days. I require sleep. Please sleep. Please. Please sleep. Uh, are you in a situation where you can where you can sleep now? Because if you are, you should be sleeping. <laughs> oh goodness me! I just it's just an awful feeling, isn't it? Just trying to keep pushing on when you're so exhausted. I mean, I know you talk about, you know, a second win or just sort of going about things on autopilot, but it's still, it's not good. Yeah, last time it rained, I went to the park in the early morning and it was nice to walk around when no one else was around. That's lovely. The last time it rained here, I went outside and lay on the grass because the small one was asleep. But it wasn't quite dark yet, so I went outside and I lay on the grass and just let the rain hit my face for a while. 
That was nice. I mean, theoretically, the husky staring at me might make it rather difficult. Oh no. Papa requiring attention. Oh no. Oh no. Papa would not like to join you. Join you in a, in a nice a nice nap. A a cuddly husky nap. Yeah. I have I have no pets to huddle and cuddle now at home. Cause um we did move my beautiful cat in with in with one of my siblings and her cat because my cat was just so stressed here with the small one and she never grew accustomed to her and it's only gotten worse and worse and you know it was at the point where the vet was noticing you know signs of stress in her blood tests and stuff so she seems much happier much happier with my sibling but I do miss her they steal covers I'm single and I gotta worry about my covers being stolen that seems both irritating and endearing in the same in the same thought. <laughs> no, I have never lived with with dogs. And I hear huskies. Huskies are prone to very strong personalities. Is that right? I mean, you know, stealing the covers. <laughs> it seems seems a mark of a definite personality. <laughs> oh no, more yours. I'm supposed to stop streaming in half an hour, but I really want the trading post to be built. I suppose at least they're bringing things down to, to get it built now, so there's some hope. There's some hope. There's still plenty of stones, that's not to worry about. We've got enough iron now. Wood seems to be the thing at the moment, but we've got so many labourers, so we should be able to clear enough, enough wood. For you. So you guys marked or have you sprung up since? Sorry guys. Sorry guys. There is a difference between living with a dog and a husky. That being the husky acts like a moody teenager who will be very vocal about how you're not giving them enough attention. A personality, I thought so. I thought I'd, I'd heard that correctly about huskies. I do love, love the idea of huskies, they're so beautiful, and um, what was it, my original Nintendogs, I had a husky, <laughs> I think I called her Seely for some reason, Seely the husky, and I don't remember, oh I probably got another dog on that eventually, but I think it was just Seely for the longest time, because I wanted to be sure I could show her enough attention. <laughs> Oh, goodness me, that probably still works, you know. I'm generally fairly fairly gentle on my handheld, so I'm guessing if I charged them, my old DS and 3DS should still should still work, I imagine. Oh dear. We may yet get the trading post built before I stop for the evening. Went to the trouble of building the barn and no one's putting anything in it. I suppose the f we haven't produced any food all through all through winter, so that's why it's jumped down. It's okay as long as we we get things going during spring. It shouldn't be any any issue at all. Except we are out of wood. Leanders has become a student. Congratulations, Leanders. Has anyone moved in with Handel yet? Nope. Handel is a bachelor. Congratulations. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Um, I just feel like we should have more going on. Goodness me, we've collected a lot of herbs. <laughs> Lots of stored medicine. That's good. That's probably why everyone's so healthy. Hooray. I'm watching the alcohol supplies dwindling during the winter. <laughs> oh dear, what we should really build after the trading post is the foresters. 
cut and I was thinking about building it over here so we can just have a constant chopping down and replanting. I almost said rebuilding. Replanting of trees. I know the reserve of logs is low. Oh no, who's cold? Who's cold? Oh no. Okay, at least it's late winter. It shouldn't last long. Uh -huh. Still worry. Still anxious. Anxious. Um... Why are you not wood cutting? Chop the wood. Miss Sandra. Yes. Get the sticks. Go and chop them. You know, it's not a huge it's not a huge deal yet when it's just the house that shows cold. It's just a warning. It's when when it pops up up over here that you gotta start to get a bit worried. <laughs> oh no, who else is cold? Ah, Len Woody, Madeline. No. Guys. Guys. Why are you not chopping wood? Why? It says there's 31 logs. They're right there. Chop the dang wood. Chop the wood. Spring now. Goodness me. I don't know, maybe the builders had a claim on those logs. Guys, we have 17 laborers. What are you guys doing? Are you chopping the wood? Oh dear. I'm probably just managing this town very poorly. Oh no, more cold. Shame in Arden Charon. I know someone has too much wood, don't they? Well, they did. It seems to be mostly gone now. But it's spring now. Um, let's make this a cabbage here. Work. Just put one gatherer and one fisherman on just so we're getting a bit more of a variety of food. Woodcutter, where are you? Come on. Chop the wood. I know we're spring now, so they're probably safe, but still, chop the wood. You chopped like twice, and you're already having a break. Resources. Were you in one of the cold houses? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I should clear a few of the. Not over here, but a few of the trees up this way. I mean, I'm not going to be able to build anything really here. Um, yeah, maybe just, just so there's a few trees a little closer. Can clear. Mm. Ali was not in one of the cold houses, he just took the firewood. Just noticing we're probably going to start getting some old age deaths soon. Got Brett and Missandra in mid 60s. I've, I've noticed in, in my other games people generally don't get much much past 70s if and you know a lot go in their 60s but everyone's health is pretty high so maybe they'll be okay. We'll see. Yeah I've got quite a few Quite a few in their mid-60s. Oh, just said Prism Live Studio disconnected. With any luck? With any luck? The stream didn't skip too badly. It's 
Sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh no, another yawn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, we've increased our firewood supply fairly quickly, which is good. But are all the people getting it who need it? I don't know. I don't know. Call the farmers on, the build is still going. Hmm. Oh dear, now I'm thinking maybe I should have um, regenerated before I started playing this one and just tried to get a start in a place that was actually by the river instead of just a tiny, tiny stream. That way we could have had the trading post going five years ago. That would have been nice. That would have been helpful. Hmm. It would have been. But it did not occur to me because I am silly. Oh well, that's okay. It's okay, guys. Get some firewood, Trey Maynard and Sharon. But if you don't, you may wind up joining poor old Ty Lord in the graveyard before your time. That's not meant to be a threat. It, it, it is merely, merely an observation. If you would like to keep hunting for a good few more years, get some firewood. Again, not a threat, just an observation. Mm. Oh, it's already spring. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> We haven't come over here very much, have we? Just because it's just a very quiet little corner with the gathering hut and the and the hunting lodge. And there was no one working there for a little while, wasn't there? Oh, I think we kept the hunters going. So there was a firewood low. Did someone take all the firewood before Trey Maynard and Sharon could get there? You did, didn't you? It's a good thing. Where are you? Ali. Ali is now the woodcutter. Ali is hard at work. Kate Lynette. Kate Lynette! It is not your house that requires this at the moment. Ooh, just save Tor and his family. Everyone else can go. <laughs> oh yes, we have become a little attached to Tor, haven't we? There he is. Tor, Carmaine, and their little child. I'm guessing it's Celia. It's a cute way to spell it, isn't it? The C-I-E-L-A. But no, sadly, I do not think a town can subsist on tour alone. No, no. I should probably build some more houses and let some poor other kids move out. Mm. Just figuring out where to build them. Um, I suppose so long as I didn't cut down any trees, I could always build a house or two over here. Or, you know, cut down minimal trees. That could be cute, having a little house out this way. Right across from the barn, or maybe up... Mm, no, I can't do it there. It's a little hilly here, doesn't it? Um, dang. feels odd having it directly across from these things. Maybe not there. Um, here? Just a random house there? 
Why not? Random house there. Oh, I don't know why I prefer things a little more organized, but this one I'm just trying to use the space and probably pop a house here too. Oh, we'll get a little more organized later, I guess. I mean, because there could always come a time when we just demolish all the houses and rebuild them elsewhere, but I don't really like doing that. Sorry, big stretches. Oh, hopefully when I stretch this time, I will not throw out my back again. Because my back has been very unhappy with me ever since that happened. Ah, oh, rain. It's supposed to rain here tomorrow. Hope it does. Oh dear. Still haven't got the firewood, but it's spring now, so I'm guessing being cold here at the moment is not really a concern. Which is good. Ooh, leather. More coats. More coats. Hmm. Well, our next big building project should be after the trading post. Oh, goodness me, the foundations are laid. That's amazing. Reserve of firewood is low again. Did someone take more than their share? Probably. Oh, well. See, it doesn't take long to deplete the, the food stores if you you spend a season not producing anything. <laughs> oh well, we'll have a lot of cabbages this year. So much venison. I suppose I try to spend all of the, the peaches on alcohol. So that's one less thing. I suppose people can just take them before they go go to the brewery. So there's probably, yeah, a bunch of houses with some peaches. I'll try not to hold that against them. Hello, train may nod. Ah, oh, dearie me. Ooh, how's this little house going? And guys, there's plenty of stone. I'm just worried we're just gonna. Oh, we don't have any. Oh, I suppose Kalia's just about. Just about there. Things Marcel. Sir Roderick, Kington. Ah, I see. It seems we had a long period of mostly, mostly boy children and not so many girl children, so. Yes, that can that can have effects down the way. <laughs> oh dear. Just have to do what we can. Another reason why refugees are so very important. This doesn't seem to be a very sort of central place to build the um town center. I suppose if I built it down here or on this side of the road I'm intending, yes, to, to build down here or, or farms or pastures. I suppose over here would be good for that too. We should build another bridge, shouldn't we? Not sure where the best place to cross would be. Possibly even just right down here. Bridget, 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 Bridget. There we go. How we doing? You're that close. Cleonadad. Oh, your tool broke. Okay, I see. I see. That's okay. I'll, I, I rescind my heckling, Cleonadad. I apologize. Ciela, you're very tall for a three year old. Don't know why I'm still surprised. 
You're playing. What are you playing? Oh, who's here? Tor. Hello, Tor. Are you, do you have the honor of finishing the trading post? Is it almost there, Tor? Are you going to finish it? Tor finished the trading post. Oh, my very goodness me. It is done. It is done. Okay, let's fill it. Okay, let's get 200 tools in here to start with. 200 tools. Coats. Let's pop 50 in there for now. And I can always take them out again. Um, I'm not sure what our food stores are like. They seem fairly heavy. Let's put 500 cabbage. 500 corn. Um, and we'll pop, we'll sacrifice a year of peaches. We'll pop 500 there and eventually we'll get there. Venison, we've got quite a lot of at the moment. So let's pop 500 of venison in there. Um, we've got a lot of stone, but we may need it. Why is a three year old going outside alone without a guardian? Well, yeah, it's an issue, but. There's no, no child minding, sadly, in this town. Everyone, everyone is working, either mining or farming, gathering, hunting, fishing, woodcutting, all of all of these tasks, and they don't seem to have a child's mind. So the kids just just amuse themselves, it seems, and they do wander. I have not come across a child dying due to negligence in this game, although it could happen. I don't know. We've got a lot of herbies too, so let's pop 200 herbies. Alcohol. Let's um, go 150 for now, and we'll build up our own reserves later. Um, um, actually, let's go 250 tools, because if anything we really want comes by, it's pretty much just the, the tools and the coats at this point that it's going to buy, buy it for us. Can you have child labor in this village? You can if you don't build a school. If you don't build a school or you take the teacher off their job, the kids just enter the workforce at 10. So it was very important to me to build the school first because usually I don't build it quite fast enough and there's this one, one poor kid who has to enter the workforce at 10 but everyone else gets an education. That would be cool <laughs> to have the child labor in the village. <laughs> Hi Elfie, hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. I'm I'm probably only gonna stream for another ten minutes or so, honestly, because I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but I hope so much you are well. Oh, we need traders. Uh let's get as many traders as we can so we fill this fill this up. We finally have the trading post. It is here, which means it is now going to be possible. I mean, it's, it's still luck of the draw as to which merchants sail by, but we could get new seeds. We could get some livestock. We could get some different veggies or different fruits just to, you know, change up the diet a bit. Ah, it'll be wonderful. The children love the mines. <laughs> if if there was something like a plague that came through the town and wiped out the majority of the workforce but there was still you know plenty of children in school I would remove the teacher from the job and they would all just have to go into the workforce because that would be what had to what had to happen but I have not we're not in that position right now we've got a perf perfectly decent workforce for the size of our town so I'm going to let these kids get their education. <laughs> oh, dear me. We build that house. Who's in there? Ooh, Roderick and Kalea. There we go. Is Handel still on his handle still living the bachelor life? He is. Um, I might see if I can pop another little house over here. Oh, we can. 
There we go. Just to see if there's anyone else ready to move out. And clearly Danny is, or maybe he's just waiting until he meets the right person. He may be waiting a while. At the moment it looks like the next girl, the next oldest girl is Rethany, who's only 13. So yeah. Yes, we did have a lot of boy children and no girl children for a while, it seems. And Ty Lord is still very lonely in the cemetery. I'm sure he'll get some company soon. Some of us are getting on in age. I'm looking at you, Charon. Sorry, Charon. Mm. He looks like Charon's the oldest. Oh, no, yep, 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 that's Charon. Charon's the oldest. Ooh, are you shipping the characters? No, no, I'm just trying to boost the town's population by, and usually, usually what happens is that the next male in age moves out with the next female in age, no matter who they are. Unless there's absolutely no one available, in which case we get these bachelor situations. <laughs> No, I have not started shipping the characters. It's a little hard to to ship people who seem to have no personality. The only person we've run into who we feel anything for so far is Tor, because he was inexplicably miserable when no one else was. He just was so low on the stars. Can you force a marriage between two people? Um, I don't think you could force it between two specific people, but if you... You know, if you mark a house for demolition and the people move out and then you unmark it, it could be a different a different couple or, or single person who moves in. Um, I think there's been a few weird times when, you know, quite, quite an older couple, not even necessarily a really older couple, like a couple in their 40s or 50s, where one of the partners has died, you know, in an accident or something and the next available person in age to be partners just sort of moves in with them and sometimes it's a person who is much 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 younger than them and that's a little odd but what about the asexuals you're right I, I don't think unfortunately this town takes any asexuality or really any homosexuality or any other kind of sexuality besides the hetero variety in this game at least not that I've noticed, except remember we did have that, um, we did have that harem house at one point and that was fun. And then we had a house which seemed to be a gay couple, but then one of them moved out with a lady. So I'm guessing it, it was a queer couple, but one of them or both of them were bi. If you, could you force marriages and if so, you can make any ship happen. We could, if we could force marriages, but I don't think we can. Hmm. Maybe as we play on a little bit, that can be something to, to play around with. It just feels slightly evil. <laughs> Very slightly evil. Oh dear, another yawn. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in early summer and we have skins with which to tailor. More coats, because remember, we just put a whole bunch of them in the trading post. Anything in here yet? Six fish in the whole barn. Six fish. <laughs> it is filling up. Got a hundred of the tools. Hundred and fifty of the tools. Oh. Actually, we're gonna. We're not going to have enough for this, are we? Let's just make that 200 and then have our blacksmith go at it. Oh, we should recode the game to add more LGBTQ plus representation. I'm joking. It would be cool. Maybe there's a mod for it somewhere. That would be a far more realistic town. Almost joking. No, no, I don't think there's any need to joke about that. That would be a, a cool mod. 
Oh Lord, I mean, I, I kind of just want to be able to, you know, know more about the people. I'd like it if they could, I don't know, if we could have a, like a, a game like Banished, but with characters more like The Sims, with more personality and can interfere more with their lives and, you know, can build up more skills and get to know. And it'd be nice if, you know, not quite random, but random by, you know, specific percentages of the town, roughly, to be various sexualities and such. That would be, that would be fun. You know, I don't want to be able to choose it for them, but, you know, get to know the people. Probably not nearly as much control as in The Sims, but a little bit more. A bit more. How are we going? No, I shouldn't. I'm, tr I'm doing my best not to heckle the traders. No, we've got all six trader positions filled. They just seem to be going very slowly but it's a long way to walk. So again, we'll try not to heckle. Well, you're a god to them. You can force them to do whatever you want, be a tyrant. <laughs> I don't know, it seems almost, um, yes, this, this is a godlike position in this game, but you can all you can do is really nudge. I mean, you can lay where you want the buildings to be and you can assign jobs, but that is pretty much it. <laughs> The rest is up to them. Oh, Kalea has become an adult and is working as a labourer. Hooray, Kalea. Danny has moved out for the bachelor life. Hello, Danny. You're right across from your workplace, too. Very convenient. Oh, dear. I imagine Blue would have fun playing a tyrant, but I think she would think about it a lot later and feel really bad. <laughs> I hereby introduce you to the queer, like the sim, and Vanish had a queer child. This is not a real thing, unfortunately. It would be cool. I wish we could do that. Unfortunately. Oh, we had a death. We had a death. Trey Maynard, the builder, has died of old age. Adric has replaced Trey Maynard as builder. Sorry, Charon. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> we had a graveyard. You have a much, much more ostentatious gravestone than Ty Lord Trey Maynard. I suppose you were around a bit longer, but still. Work in progress title. I think it's a fine title. <laughs> oh, is this everyone come to visit the graveyard now that Trey Maynard's here? It's kind of sweet, I guess. Wait, Jean. Did you say a few words? That's probably why the trading post took so long. You had an elderly construction worker. I think most of them were reasonably elderly. Oh dear. I think that's another reason I don't want to build too many houses at this point because when the older people die, younger people will move into the houses and they don't really like the houses to sit empty so that can sort of split up families as well. Oh dear. Sorry, I'm just desperately hoping that a boat's going to come along. I'm just going to follow the river to see if there are any boats nearby. I can't see any. Dang. What about... Ooh. Coming from this direction. Boat coming from this direction, maybe. Boat. 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 No boat. Oh. Miss Sandra, the teacher, has died of old age. Oh, Goodbye, Miss Sandra. Henrette has replaced Miss Sandra as teacher. Oh, dear. Where's Miss Sandra? There's Miss Sandra. Very, very humble. Humble stone for Miss Sandra. Oh, dear. Where was Miss Sandra? Oh, with Brett. How are you, Brett? He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time for the children to work. There's no teacher anymore. No, no, Henrette took the position straight away. If there'd been no one to take, no one to take her position, all the kids would have been kicked out of school. And we don't currently have any. There we go. 
now yes if, if someone dies someone takes their place if they have any job besides laborer I remember one time in my other game that happened and um, a hunter died of old age and a young guy took his position and the young guy was immediately murdered by a giant bull <laughs> yeah that wasn't great <laughs> Oh dear, no more skinned tail. Um, I kind of want to keep the woodcutter on permanent standby. Oh dear. At least the bachelors could hang out together in the one house. That might be fun. Oh, six fish and fifty iron tools now. Okay, we've got all those tools in there, we've got all the coats in there, the corn, the ale. Well, everything's in there that I said. That's something. Oh, except the peaches. That'll happen with this harvest, I guess. Um, hmm. Well, now that I've got all that food in there, I should probably increase the gatherers and the fisher folk. So then, so then, gathering more food as we go. Oh, guess the new hunter wasn't up to the task. No, unfortunately, it seems he wasn't. That's another reason I think it'd be cool if we could actually build their skill levels in certain certain occupations, and then, you know. They tend to prefer those op occupations, but, you know, go into other ones if they have to, but have some trouble with them. Oh, because of you being the goddess of the banished, could you make the people go to war? A civil war? I don't know. I mean, there's not an option to build barracks or weapons or anything, so probably not. Probably not. I mean, I, I know there's the tools you could use as weapons, but I, I don't think it's a function in the game. Um, I suppose that would be an interesting thing to add. Civil unrest. You know, if everyone got... Ow. Sorry. Pain spasm. If everyone got particularly unhappy, they could... I don't know. It's a bit hard to unseat the power when there's no... No government as such. I mean, we can build a town hall, but I don't think it adds any... Any jobs... Yeah, there's no, like, mayor or town officials or anything. And as far as I know, there aren't any other towns in your area. But, again, I, I haven't played, you know, ridiculously far into the future. So maybe that, that's something that happens later on, once the towns are better established. Would splitting up families cause something like that? I haven't noticed anyone actually get upset about families being split up, except me. <laughs> You know, he just had a family with two kids, but suddenly there's a free house and the dad moves out and just has a free house all to himself and leaves leaves the mum and the kids. Because it seems to be, you know, except when it comes to gathering stuff for your individual homes, everyone takes care of everyone. But it's, you know, again, it's not like that because some people are really greedy and, like, take way too much firewood and then other people don't get any, so... Yeah, it's, it's an odd little situation to try to manage. I guess the villagers don't care about familial bonds. Not hugely. Or splitting the town itself. Yeah, I'm never come across being able to, to get quite that brutal <laughs> with this game. Dear, we're losing some trees, aren't we? That's why our, our yield's a little low. Oh no! <laughs> We've crossed... The, the reserve of logs is low. We have crossed. We have crossed. I've been going for more than two hours. I'm probably going to have to stop. I can see why they got banished. Oh, that's right. At one point we were going to have chats and theorize and make up stories about why they were banished. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time because I should probably stop. Let's save, save. Saving new eyes and guard. Save. Overwrite? Yes, please. Thank you for asking. Okay. So, that's going to do it.
for Banish tonight. Oh, goodness me. I am just going to... Where am I? Jump across over here for a minute. Hopefully I am reasonably positioned. If not, I will do my best to... Oh no, we're fine. We're fine here. <laughs> oh dear, let's just... Yeah, I'm not going to pop the background music on because we're going to be finishing up in a minute anyway. Thanks for streaming, it was fun. You're very welcome. I'm just looking up my lyrics to sing our farewells. So, today was banished. On Thursday, I think we might actually be able to finish reading The War of the Worlds. That could happen. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's just a little bit left to go. I guess not being able to sleep was worth it. Oh, I can't quite bring myself to say I hope so. I still wish you'd gotten some sleep. But I hope work won't be too bad for you. Well, maybe everyone has inherited the PTSD of being banished from their relatives who got banished for the war crimes they regenerated. Oh, goodness me. Goodness me, I was hoping it wasn't going to be war crimes that got us banished. <laughs> I was... I don't know. I guess my random thought was sort of maybe an Omelas situation, where it was a really peaceful town, but we found out that peace was at a terrible cost, and we chose to be banished rather than stay and continue to perpetuate this horror on our, on, on our town. Or well, something like that. I, I was... I sold banished. <laughs> you may have. You may have. <laughs> but yes, on, on Thursday, with any luck, we'll finish reading The War of the Worlds. And on Saturday, I'm going to attempt to be brave and start a new game. We, we will start Spiritfarer and see how we go. Feel, feel free to backseat all you want. I, I, I will add... I will add that in the stream rules that... For new games I play backseating, very much allowed. I will probably probably need the support. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just already envisioning you seeing just, just how dire my spatial awareness issues are. <laughs> I'm just going to be walking into everything. Even if it's, you know, not 3D, which I don't think it is. I'm just going to be walking into everything. <laughs> Alrighty. And yes, um, again, I'm going to try to hopefully tomorrow at one point pop up all of the notes from the brainstorming stream on Saturday. So anyone who wants to have a look at that or who wants to, to write a piece inspired by that brainstorming and you don't have time to watch the VOD or trawl through the VOD looking for all of the notes, I will make a Tumblr post hopefully tomorrow with with all of those notes unedited so it'll be a mess but I will make a new community post as well linking that and I will do my best to remember to to pop a link to it in the description of the VOD as well so that'll be there for everyone to look at okay okay thank you so much for playing Banished with me tonight it was lots of fun we finally got the trading post built so hopefully Hopefully next time we can actually trade something. Or maybe we went into self-exile to not be associated with the crimes of their home. I, I, I prefer that one. I prefer that one. <laughs> oh dear. Time to go to bed, I think. Time for bed. So, wherever you are in the world, good night to you. Or good evening, good afternoon, good morning. And I hope the rest of your day is absolutely lovely, because that's what you deserve. Let's sing our goodbyes. Hopefully my voice won't crack too badly. It won't be as bad as last time anyway. I'm sure my, my throat is far, far better after two hours as opposed to after four hours of non-stop talking. <laughs> oh, I disagree with you, the banished theory. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. We can we can discuss lots of banished theories next time or the time after. Though, yes, I'm not sure what games I'll be playing next week. Possibly I should have a brief, brief banished break. Brief banished break. Brief banished break. Brief banished break. <laughs> and choose something else. 
mean, play Spirit Fairer for a while. Um, it's probably be be useful to have two sort of going simultaneously, or even three, and we can just jump between them. Um, could do another Neopet stream. We've only done the one, but sadly, I have I have not kept up to date. I have not done dailies. My poor Jub Jub of Blue Moon is likely starving. <laughs> I'm just so bad at all the games. It's so hard to get money and everything is so expensive. <laughs> okay, sorry. No more tangents. Let's sing the parting glass. Oh, for the money that here I had, I have spent it in good company. Oh, and all the harm I've ever done Alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit to memory now, I can't recall. Yeah. <laughs> so feel to me the parting glass good night and joy be to you all <laughs> well you should play minecraft in creative mode and make an environment for a story that could be fun one time maybe i'll think about it i'll think about it but until next time see you <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.